PlayStation and Sony have shut down Firewalk Studios as Concord less than two weeks after the game released. <laughs> two weeks. Didn't even survive. Two weeks. Shut down. Plug pulled. Servers are gone. The game is no longer listed on Steam. And they are offering people who actually spent money on the game full refunds. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com. And Firewalk Studios game director Ryan Ellis announced the game was shutting down in a blog post on the PlayStation blog, the official PlayStation blog. He wrote this, At this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6, 2024 and explore options, including those that will better reach our players. I think it's already been shut down now. He's saying that they're taking it off September 6th. I went on Steam. You can't even find Concord anymore. It's no longer listed. He also shared that the company will be offering full refunds. He wrote this. While we determine the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately, and we will begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased the game for PlayStation 5 or PC. If you purchase the game for PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation Store or PlayStation Direct, a refund will be issued back to your original payment method. If you click through on the link there uh, in the article, uh, which I will have in the link, I will have the link to this in the description below. You will find other options on how you can get refunded if you indeed played this game. Uh, I don't think many of you did, given the fact that the game had a peak of 697 players and 110 in the last 24 hours. That's how dead this game was. It never made it out of the gate. They were just burying it six feet deep, nailing nailing the nails into the coffin. So just to kind of give you a brief recap of just how bad this game was, how dead it was from the very beginning, they released a video on their on a PlayStation State of Play. I feel like it was like back in back in May. Uh, it looks like it was, yeah, it's at the end of May is when they released this. And then you had people like a Bruce Rambo who runns the uh, Steam curator list, uh, Sweet Baby Inc. detected. He's the founder of it. He was roasting this game. So as the F robot has pronouns in the next Sony game, okay, basically saying this game is hot trash, criticizing the game for the inclusion of pronouns. You also had Mangalorier here uh, making fun of the DEI character designs of this character named Amari. OMG, finally, literally a playable tank. Lots of other people were criticizing the gameplay, saying it was basically derivative of Overwatch. Uh, Dreamcast guy, when he actually played the actual early access or the open beta, I think it was early access for him, he described it as Walmart brand Overwatch. No one was really impressed by it. Angry Joe thought the progression in the game was mediocre and lackluster. There was nothing that really made this game stand apart. It all just felt derivative on top of absolutely ugly character designs that no one was interested in, as well as the promotion of transgender ideology through their through the pronouns, with all the characters having the pronouns. The, the, the studio, Firewalk Studios, completely ignored any of this feedback. Uh, speaking with BGC, the company's director of IP, Kim Krein, said this, yeah, that trailer, that moment is such a tiny slice of everything that we've been working on for years and years. We're excited for the game and for the IP and for the game to be in people's hands, the IP to be in people's minds. <laughs> Less than two weeks, the game has been pulled from the shelves. They shut the servers down, and they don't even know what they're going to be doing <laughs> with it. That's how bad this game was. Massive, massive losses. Just to provide some color, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is still around. They're still You can still play that game. You can still buy that game, but not no more with Concord. You cannot purchase Concord anymore. The servers are being shut down in three days. Definitely not in people's minds whatsoever. Nevertheless, she continued saying, I'm personally very excited for the IP, for folks to delve into the Galactic Guide, if that is something they choose to do, for these vignettes to come out on a weekly basis. You'll start to fall in love with the depth of the characters. That's something that you learn week to week. Their personalities will unfold. Their relationships will unfold for you. Their backstories. None of that is something that you can get in a tiny little slice of it. But that's a start. There's something there. So I'm glad folks watched it. I'm glad they participated. And I can't wait for them to see more, to see everything that is there. No one is going to see any more because the game has now been absolutely shut down. And it, it didn't get any, it didn't get, it didn't even start off well. This is when the game was free, a 24-hour peak for early access for with just 1,124. 
I think it was like a week later, you get the open beta when it was open to basically everyone for free. Only 2388. Absolutely terrible. Remember, this is when it's free. The game they actually charged you $40 for. And uh, it, it eventually only got to 697. Absolutely terrible. But before we get to that, I would be remiss if I didn't point out that on PlayStation, it looked like it did even worse between the early access and the open beta. We had this report from True Trophies uh, sharing that using a gameplay data sample from over 3.1 million active PlayStation Network accounts, courtesy of our partnership with Game Insights, we can see that Concord has 8.1% fewer players in the second open beta than in the early access beta. So you actually had a decline of people playing the game in open beta on PlayStation compared to early access. So people had seen enough already. They heard enough. They were not interested in this game. Didn't even want to play it for free, let alone pay $40 for it. And uh, they did note that it was uh, number 29 in their top 40 most regular games every week on PlayStation uh, on their chart. It was 29th both weeks, despite having an 8.1% decline in that second week. And that'll be, uh, that'll be important. Because we'll get to this report down here where it fell to 147th most popular in its first week. And then just yesterday, they reported that it had fallen to 180th. That is how bad this game was on PlayStation. If we look at PSN profiles, you can see that they were reporting that only 1,303 people actually purchased this game. And only 1,264 achieved the most common trophy titled First Takedown which requires players to get their first elimination or first kill in the game. So 3% of people who actually bought the game didn't even kill anyone in a, in a match at all. Like the easiest trophy to achieve didn't even 3% of people didn't even, uh, didn't even do that, but they bought the game. So and only 1300 people were seemingly owned the game. Absolutely terrible, massive, massive disaster. So that's kind of a brief recap, but there's a lot more. Obviously, we just found out that one of the characters here, Boz, was actually uh, a man pretending to be a woman. Uh, one of the, or the voice actor or the person they modeled this character out off of, uh, seemed to confirm that on Instagram. We had Pink News reporting this, saying that uh, the voice actor wrote this on Instagram. I had to go for a walk because I just don't like you when PlayStation wants to turn me into the baddest knife-wielding assassin in all the land. That's right, yours truly as Free Gunner Boz and PlayStation's new multiplayer video game, Concord. So that was posted about three days ago on Instagram. Uh, and I think they must have edited the post because on the Instagram post, the, the, those comments are no longer there anymore. Um, maybe they, this person, he got the heads up that the game was getting scrapped. And so was told to edit the, edit the post. Uh, obviously, there was this big headline, too, where there was a Concord developer demanding co-workers refer to her as professor, pushed extreme politics, and demanded her unvaccinated colleagues be fired. Absolutely insanity right there. And then, obviously, I did the research on this. Th that was mainly done by Smash JT and his sources, this one right here. Uh, I did the research on this one, where you had the lead character designer uh, claiming that whites must acknowledge their privileged privilege position and then actively work for equality. He also claimed the, ju the judicial sh system is white supremacy. There's all kinds of just absolutely insane stuff that this guy was posting that he did back in 2020. Uh, if you want to look at that, uh, I will provide the link in the description below. And then obviously here is more confirmation of this uh, character, Boz, being uh, a man pretending to be a woman in the game. Uh, this looks This is shared by Manga Lawyer, so I'm not sure exactly I haven't seen this in uh, in person, but this looks to be legitimate. But you can see here that Boz is like uncle or grandfather or relative or whatever it is. I think it's the gra his grandfather uh, said that he turned away again after her gender transition. So it's a guy pretending to be a woman and uh, confirming it right there. This is what we expected. We knew this was happening. This is what they were going to put in those vignettes, the cinematic vignettes that they were talking about. You knew they were going to push this agenda. We saw through this. Gamers rejected this game. We killed this game. We've won, and they've shut this game down. So this is a massive, massive victory for gamers, uh, showing that uh, we do not want these types of games. We do not want Overwatch derivatives. We do not want woke ideology. We do not want pronoun nonsense. We do not want these ugly character designs that are clearly, clearly trying to push the transgender ideology. No one wants this game shut down less than two weeks after it was released. Who even knows what happens to Firewalk now? I think that's the big question moving forward is, how long 
till Sony or PlayStation shuts down Firewalk, absorbs it into PlayStation Studios, moves people around. Very similar to what we saw with Bungie uh, about a month ago. I think that is what we're all waiting on now because this game is dead. I don't think it's coming back whatsoever. Maybe they can salvage some of the, the shooting mechanics and stuff like that and maybe put it into something else. But uh, this game, absolutely dead. Shut down, refunding the game, and uh, could not be happier that uh, woke ideology is being eliminated uh, from, from the video game space. But let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other, but to always speak the truth.